This is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. Today I'm taking a look at the Amplified Reading Bible. This is a brand new paragraph style Bible that uh, makes the Amplified Bible a little bit easier to read. Comes with this nice little dust jacket. I'm not sure if that's in focus or not. I, don't know. I can't tell. But uh, comes with this little dust jacket here and the cover is brown. Shiny glossy brown. And this is a hardcover edition, obviously. And uh, this one is has a sewn binding, so it is Smythe sewn. You can see the little signatures there. Smythe sewn edition. And the paper is kind of impressive. I think this is about 38 GSM paper. I don't know that exactly. I haven't asked. I haven't confirmed that. This is a Made in China edition using the 2015 Amplified. Um, but the paper does feel like it's about 38 GSM when I compare it to the, the Cambridge Wide Margin Edition. It's very opaque. Has a, It's a little smooth, but it's not coated, or at least it's not fully coated. So it's not rough. It's easy to turn these pages. My little trick of grabbing the corner and, and rubbing them works really well, except for when I'm trying to show you. But... Um, yeah, I think it's 38 GSM. It's white in color. It, under certain lighting, I will see a little bit of a red tint, which does not bother me at all. I don't like a blue tint, but red tint is okay. For some reason, blue makes it looks weird. But uh, it, it gives you the preface, the explanation of general format. Now, this tells you about what all the things are in the text. It'll have parentheses uh, in Roman type and bold type brackets in Roman and bold type italicized conjunctions and words proper names pronouns paragraphs so what it's doing here is it's just showing you how to use the text and then gives you all the special markings small caps and proper names of God word references and section headings so this this is not a what I would call a pure reading Bible even though it's called readers reading Bible is what it's called um, it's not exactly a reading Bible in the pure sense that I would consider a reading Bible. Now, you can see a little bit through this paper. It's highly opaque, very opaque paper. Probably shows through a lot more on this camera than it does to my eye. But here's the, here's the deal. It is a single-column paragraph edition. Now, it does still have section headings in the text. It does still have chapter numbers. And it does still have verse numbers. And right here you can see a, um, a reference. You can probably hear my train driving by. So it does have some references in the text. It does have the, uh, the ampli amplified text. So you, know, you do have these little amplifications in there. To me, this makes it a little bit difficult to read as just a reader. So I don't think of this as a reading Bible so much. Um, if I'm just going to pick a Bible up for casual reading, I don't think this would be the one I would pick. Uh, but if I was going to pick up a, a Bible to read for my study, this is a great choice. And that's really what the Amplified Bible is about anyway. Um, but it has around 90 characters across and about 20 words across. So this is a little bit much when you consider readability and all this. So you know, it's not really optimized for reading, but it's still good for reading. It's about a 9-point font with a 10-point font with the space between the lines with the leading. So 9-10. Good dark font. I like this font. I like that design. And you can see the poetic setting. So, I mean, you can see here through, you've got the... Uh, section headings all the way through. I mean, it's just, it's standard uh, amplified Bible, but it's, it's placed in a more readable format, which looks really good. It really does. I taught from this one this morning. I did have a little bit of issues trying to teach from it, looking for some of the verses when you have um, more reading than anything else, when you had the amplified text. Um with all the little interruptions in the text. It does have line matching. It lines up really well. Nice and sharp. This is a good dark font. Good dark font. I like it. Looks really good. 
and then prose, of course, is in the standard. And then now you'll see references through here. So when you're reading, especially when you're reading aloud, um, you'll have to figure out where to stop. If you don't want to read all this as you're reading, kind of skip that. Then, and maybe use the, the, the amplified portions to give explanations if you're teaching, which is my preferred way to do this. And then if you're reading along and then you come across uh, the references and you'll have to stop a little bit and kind of read past them, just skip them in your mind and try to make it not sound awkward, which I probably made it. I, I was, to be honest, I probably did it perfectly. Just kidding. Um, but it lays really flat. It lays really flat. It doesn't have a, um, a too much bend into the gutter. And it can if you wanted to press it down, but it... It lays really good, really well. I like the book headings, book titles. Really elegant. This is an elegant looking Bible. Really nice. Really sharp. Flip through a page or two here, section headings. They do stand out, you know, so it's not really a pure reader. But now if I'm going to read for study, this is a good choice. And here is another example I was wanting to show. All caps for um, Old Testament quotes. At the top of the page we have the book number on the outer corner followed by a little bar and then you have the book name, chapter and verse number. That's the first verse that appears on this, that starts on this page and then here we have the last verse that ends on this page. It's a pretty Bible. So it does have some references does have some it doesn't have footnotes there that's the amplified portion all the amplified stuff in there and then in the very back we have a few little extra features as, as you probably saw I'll say it just in case it is a black letter text so there's no red here it's a black letter edition Testament quotes and let's see some of these extras not a whole lot of extras in the back but there are a few little things here if I can just actually grab the paper instead of rubbing across the paper we have promises and perspectives from the Bible and these are topical lists this first one is God's promises when you and then it talks about different things like feel guilty feel dejected despair disappointed and it'll give you some references to look up and then the next one what to read when you feel hopeless, you need comfort, you're bitter. And then there's another one or two. What the Bible says about, and it gives you some topics to study. So this, these are really good for study. Excellent. And then reading plans. Now this does not have a yearly reading plan. It has some specialized plans. Here's a 60 day overview. And then it gives you the day, a description of what you're reading, and then the passage, or passages, as the case may be. And then we have, let me see if I can turn that page clearly. We have 30 days of getting to know God, 30 days with Jesus, 30 days in the Psalms, and that's it. So this is about, let's see, nine and, uh, and three quarter by six and a half by one and three quarter. It's not very heavy. It doesn't really feel like a large Bible, even though, you know, it's, it's probably study Bible size. But I do like that paper a lot. I like that font a lot. Really nice design. I did receive this from Zondervan in exchange for an honest review. And I will place um, links on. Uh, to BibleBuyingGuide.com in the in the foot in the notes here, and uh, you can see a more detailed review with lots of high res photos, and I'll place a link where you can buy this on Amazon. If you have any questions, place them in the in the notes down there, and I'll see if I can answer them. Thanks.